All right, this actually looked like a scene out of a movie, but it was very real. I want you to take a look at this. On a bridge spanning the Ohio River, a semi-truck crashes through the side of the bridge and ends up literally dangling over the water below. And in those incredible minutes that follow, a member of the Louisville Fire Department is seen lowered down by a cable and actually rescues the driver and brings her to safety. Joining me now is that Louisville firefighter, Bryce Carden, alongside his family. Uh, so, Bryce, just walk us through how this all played out and how you found yourself now being lowered over this water to get to this person. So, as I spoke on uh, many times in the past, uh, we train for these situations uh, when just it starts from the very beginning, whenever we have our roles for the day. Um, we talk about this stuff and just I was at that at the at the right moment, right time. I was uh, the guy to go over the edge. Um, truck, Captain Hogan and uh, Captain Rogers and Captain Wren uh, trusted me to be able to be that guy. And there was a lot of good people working topside and uh, people working bottom side to be able to make it happen. And uh, like I said, I was just the right guy at the right time and was able to execute uh, at that time for what we had to get done. So. Yeah, and look, um, we talked beforehand. I know you're a team sports guy, but but the, an operation like this clearly is a, a team sport. Just tell me about the coordination here that it, that it took, not just from what you were doing, obviously, you were the guy on the end of the cable, but there was a whole team helping actually make this happen. Oh, it took many resources. We had uh, truck one, we had engine two, rescue two, uh, engine six down in the water, uh, we had Tower 2, Quint 7. We had multiple companies all coming together. And our chief staff that was up there helping facilitate operations on the top side, we had a lot of moving parts. Um, and like I said, just it all goes back to uh, debriefs after, after situations that we have. Um, being able to coordinate together and uh, work like a, a well-oiled machine to execute that mission that we had at that time. And at that time, it was getting her uh, out of the truck and making that rescue. And uh, we were able to do our do what we need to do to get it done. So it was good. And, and look, I know you said you trained for something like this, but but did this fall in line with exactly you were what you were trained to do? I mean, obviously, <laughs> practice is different than a game, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so what well, what was what was that difference? Yeah. Well, we always do uh, what the situation, uh, the scenario that we ran uh, goes all the way back to the beginning of of rope school. Uh, oh, we have good instructors, uh, Michael Quinn, who, who has helped teach me a lot. He's been one of my mentors from the very beginning. Um, but doing a, a standard pickoff is what is what we essentially did. Um, just a little bit accelerated. Obviously, a, a truck dangling off a bridge is a is a pretty, uh, pretty far fetched scenario whenever you're talking about it. But um, Little Fire Park prepares us for anything. And uh, we always find a way to get it done. That's one thing I love about Little Fire Department is um, no matter what we're given, what task we're dealt with, what we have, what, what we don't have, uh, we always rise to the occasion and we get it done. And I'm very proud of the guys who were with us that day. And um, it's just it's a, a big uh, it was a peace of mind knowing going over the edge that I had those guys that had my back. Um, yeah. that I, I didn't have a worry in the world. That I knew we were going to get her. I didn't have any doubt. Uh, people were like, were you nervous? I was like, I mean, after the fact, I was like, man, that was pretty wild. But. During it, I didn't have uh, any second thoughts of going over the edge with the guys that I had up there. Um, they had my back. So, Look, I know you didn't have any thoughts of you going over the edge, but uh, Caitlin, um, I don't know if you were watching when this happened, but, but what were you thinking when you saw, oh, I, I think that's actually my husband hanging over the river there. What were you thinking? Sure. So um, I actually was watching it live through WLKY on Facebook. Um, and right before the run happened, Bryce um, sent me a text and said, um, semi hanging off the bridge. Um, here we go. And I was like, OK. And um, so I, I found out about at 1239. Um, it was kind of right after um, Bryce had got her out of the cab that I realized that it was him. Um, and I was actually sitting there feeding Oakland a bottle at the time, just like shaking and didn't know, you know, just preparing, trying to prepare myself for, you know, what could have been um, a very, you know, positive or negative um, situation. So yeah. um, I did know about halfway through that it was him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, 
unbelievable. Uh, firefighter Bryce Carden, um, Caitlin, thank you for, for taking the time uh, to talk to us. Thank you for, for what you did that day. And uh, Caitlin, thanks for, uh, for keeping your head cool in that moment. I can't imagine what it was like uh, to see him. And at the end, you find out, oh, actually, that's, that's Bryce. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you.